Once again, we are set to go. Three rounds at a catch weight, 140 pounds. Brought to you by the Hippodrome Casino London. Introducing first, finding out of the blue corner, a Sambo fighter standing five feet six inches tall, weighing in officially 138 and one quarter pounds. He enters the cage tonight for the 45th time as a professional from Antrim, Northern Ireland. Here is Steve Tesmichol. And next is opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist standing five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in 138 pounds even. In six professional bouts, he has five victories and one defeat. Finding out of Morton, Surrey, England, here is Nathaniel, the prospect one. Referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds, catch weight of 140 pounds. You ready? Nathaniel you ready? Wood in the black shorts, Steve McComb in the blue with white and red trim. No touch of the gloves, Josh, and we're underway. Expect both guys to feel this one out a little bit. Tremendous amount of support in the building for Nathaniel Wood. The loudest cheer so far this evening, the young man from Morden in Surrey. Not too far away from where we are now. In London's Copper Box Arena, the Olympic Park, of course, playing host to some fantastic sport over the past couple of years, and it's going to be playing host to some fantastic sport here this evening. Great entry from uh, Makuma early, but it was a fantastic piece of takedown defense from Nathaniel Wood, who's being very heavy in this top position here. And he's definitely setting his grips up. What's your back? Sakuma looking for a sit out, back to the single leg and scrambling back to feet. It was a lovely entry from him to initiate that entire scramble, though. Okay, I'm just going into the butt scoot position momentarily there. He does like his leg locks and his leg based submission attacks. Submitted Scott Pooley with a heel hook, I believe, not too long ago. Yeah, Nathaniel Woods, last outing, May of this year, got the job done in just 30 seconds. TKO victory for him there. That kind of veteran experience. We know Steve McComb is a smart fighter. He knows what he wants to do. He knows how to fight safe. And he's clearly looking to initiate a takedown here against Nathaniel Wood. Yeah, I think it's probably, probably fairly smart. He's at a little bit of a reach disadvantage, although they are of very similar height, but he's certainly got a few more grappling chops on him. 16 submission wins on the record of Steve McComb. Four of... Nathaniel Woods, five wins coming by way of KO or TKO, so... McComb's got to be careful there, he's just getting stuck on the inside for a second too long without anything happening, and... It was a Grimace straight there. push kick, <laughs> south of the border. As you say, Josh, you immediately heard Steve McComb grimace. Unintentional, of course, you're usually targeting the stomach with those kicks, but a couple of inches off and you can hit the cup, that's exactly what we saw. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, right into the cup of Steve McComb. I think the, the range just changed on him a little bit as the kick was thrown, so of course it shortened it, then he didn't get his leg up as high, and McComb clearly downed by that low blow. He will have five minutes to recover if he chooses to take it. Differing opinions. Josh and whether fighters should take the full five minutes. Absolutely, they should take it. That's that's what they're uh, they're allowed to take. They shouldn't be pressured into rushing back into. Obviously, it's a, a strange situation. They've got thousands of people sitting there, hoping that they'll time. you know they'll uh, they'll jump back in quickly. But you know it can be a very jarring injury. And uh, you know credit to McCoom for taking as long as he needs to to get himself squared away here. McCoom just uh, Daniel, adjusting his box. You have to watch your target a little better. That's referee Rich I'm Mitchell again. I'm stand just giving some further instruction there to Nathaniel Wood. I imagine just, just telling him to target his shots doing, as best he can. Very Good. doubtful that there Ready? were ill intentions. Okay. Time in, let's kick. go. Time in though. And we're back on the way. Touch of gloves there. And McCoom coming in and catching Nathaniel Wood. He with can, a lead left. He can find his way in. It's a question of what he does then. And that's a good decision from him. Changing the angle and getting outside with meets a, a huge kick. Big head kick there. You can see he looks... Stop, stop. 
And I believe Steve McCoom has verbally submitted. Well, he looked as though he was going to go in for the takedown, and then I think it suddenly struck him. Perhaps a broken nose, I can't quite tell. Perhaps. A he, did, he did clutch his head. He, he, he appeared to, to call for a stoppage after that kick landed. Perhaps a broken nose. Well, it could be a shoulder injury, actually, looking at this now. I think in the scramble, uh, he ate the head kick, went for a takedown, and in the scramble, I think, perhaps has suffered an injury to his shoulder. Let's see if we can get a replay here. And that was the first entry he did. Lovely double leg, but fantastic takedown defense from the youngster, Nathaniel Wood. Did a great job sprawling out on that one there, Josh. Very, very solid through all phases of the game. Nice left hook from Steve McComb, caught him there though. Yeah, McComb was finding his way in with those short shots and he ate that, oh, he broke his forearm. Oh, wow. His forearm's oh, broken. Oh, wow. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah. Well, he blocked the kick with his, with his arms and, you know, that's a shin against the forearm. And uh, viewers watching at home, we do apologize for the graphic nature of that replay. Sometimes accidents can happen in mixed martial arts. It's a contact sport after all. And Steve McComb suffering a horrific broken arm there in the first round against Nathaniel Wood. Nevertheless, a great performance from the prospect who is victorious on his Cage Warriors debut. And we'll throw it to Joe Martinez to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at the official time. Two minutes, 23 seconds. Round number one, we have a verbal submission. Your winner, Nathaniel, the prospect, one! Nathaniel Wood victorious, and he'll join Josh Palmer.